Hey guys, Mitch here. 2012 has been a great year for City of Tweaks, and in this video I will be running down some of the top 25 of my best City of Tweaks of the year 2012. Zeppelin allows you to add your own custom carrier logo, replacing your original one with the many logos. This includes the Batman, the Apple logo, the Android, and you have the ability to create your own. Porting Siri to non-supportive iOS 5 devices is always involving and does draw a huge, large audience with its many supportive features using Spire, the ability to port it over to iOS 5. Dashboard X allows you to have your own widgets directly on your device's dashboard. You can have the stock widgets including the stocks and the weather, but you can also download some off of Cydia to give your device more control over its settings. This can include NC settings which allows you to go into the different uh, toggles of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, brightness, and you can change them right from your device's dashboard showing them on or off. Icon Rotator allows you to rotate your device and the icons will rotate corresponding to your device's location and even the folders will rotate the apps as well. Swipe Back allows you to go within the different sections and swipe back to the previous page without having to use the tabs at the top. You also have the ability to swipe forward within the different sections as you see here right within settings. Safari Download Manager has been updated for iOS 6 and it allows you to download videos, music directly to your device. Going to your favorite website, you have the ability to download it, choose your destination, and once downloaded, you will be able to open the file in a corresponding app such as iFile and be able to listen to the music or the video that is being played within this great new Cydia tweak. Color knob allows you to change out the knob color as you slide to unlock your device with the corresponding colors that they, that they do have. So you have the option to choose um, dark blue, you have light blue, you have the lock emblem here, and you even have red. Lock sliders allows you to have the different apps on your slide to unlock opening them up. So you can have the flashlight, you can have the unlock, and you can even have your own custom apps on your device including games, mail, Instagram, uh, the camera app that takes you directly to the camera and you can even have multiple layers. Arrow is a great new app switcher that displays it in the multiple directions and fields. You have the options to delete them by just holding them down and there's so many options of the different organizations and how they're displayed that you can um, choose from. Unlock Eyes allows you to customize how you unlock your device with the many animations provided. These come with fold, slice, open the blinds, up, vertical, you have wide, you have the checker, and it just gives you more um, feel and look instead of the plain slide to unlock, and you even have the option to add your own customized text. Bulletin allows you to bring down the notification center on the lock screen that it's not normally allowed to and also gives you a ton of options within its settings, but its main aspect is just bring it down on the lock screen. Deck is another app switcher here on the side that allows you to give you the toggles of Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, pretty much all the settings that you would have and even gives you options of powering down and opening up different apps. CMD tab is in a Mac OS X Lion switcher that really feels like you are using a Mac, allowing you to open up the music, Cydia, Wi-Fi, you have the option to open up your messages, and you even have power options or system options. Badge Remover allows you to remove the clutter with all the badges, and once downloaded in Cydia, all the badges will be removed, and you can toggle them on or off. Forecast allows you to see the weather and the seven day forecast right on your lock screen of your device. Instead of going into it and going to the weather, you can see it all from your lock screen on your device. iOS 6 Photos menu changes the iOS 5 boring photos options that you do have with the new iOS 6 um, options right on your iOS 5 device. You have the option to post to Twitter, Facebook, Google, as a wallpaper, etc. Quick Power Down allows you to have multiple options of powering down your device instead of the plain slide to power off, and you can choose the different actions of rebooting, respringing, or putting your device into safe mode. Weather Icon displays the current weather as the weather icon on your device and also has it on the status as the moon or whatever it is showing and the temperature. 
Fusion allows you to post to multiple social media network sites by just typing out your message, choosing where you want to go in, instead of Facebook, Foursquare, MySpace, or Twitter, and also has the option to add your own custom music or pictures, but it's mainly used for posting to different sites. Mission Board Pro is another app switcher that gives you that nice look and feel by showing you a preview of what app you are in. It allows you to delete by just holding, clicking the red arrow, and you will be able to, to delete these and replacing your app switcher from the different uh, background statuses. Dash is another app switcher that allows you to have multiple display settings with the different animations. So it will display the icon in the top right hand corner along with another preview of the app that you are in. And you can choose throughout the different animations of scrolling left or right, how they are brought to you, and fade. Bridge makes it possible to add any song or video to your music library without the need of iTunes. Once you have your song selected using Safari Download Manager, you can edit out the title, the artist, the genre, the album, even the iTunes artwork, and import it straight to your music library, where there you can go ahead and listen to it without the need of iTunes of downloading songs to your device. Camera Tweak is a powerful tweak that allows you to customize your camera performance in both photos and video. It has multiple modes, including the time-lapse features and the regular timer, and also gives you the option to have on-screen grid lines if you would wish. It also works for the video mode, so you can customize the frame rate and the display settings of like 1920 by 1080, 1020 by 720, and all those customizations, but the best feature is its timer. J Launcher is another app switcher that will display your apps on the right hand side. You have the option to delete them by just holding them down and also it has your brightness, your volume controls, your music controls, and the album artwork. OXO is a last tweak here that was in 2012 that is another app switcher that displays a preview. It gives you awesome music controls and the very last slide has awesome toggles for Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. You have the option to delete them and even hold them down to remove all of them from the multitasking tray. So guys, this has been my top 25 tweaks for the year 2012 video. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I look forward to the tweaks in 2013. If you guys do like these videos, don't forget that like button, and be sure to subscribe.